back again with another video. And as you can see by the title, this is a Thanksgiving. Hold on. Thanksgiving today, and I just want to hop on here and say that I'm thankful for everybody. Thank you for you back there watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and thank you to my mom, my dad, Bo, my brothers, and my sister, and my best friend. All you know, everybody. And all right now, I'm going to rescue some some food for my mom because we didn't we needed this and she had to go right to the store real quick so that's what I'm doing right now I'm on the way to the store but I just want to say make sure you tell somebody you're thankful for them and yeah Christmas coming up <clears throat> And I just woke up. Dang. There's a whole bunch of something. I want to fix it up. Okay, gotta find some smoked turkey tails for wings. I'm gonna get to you when I find them. Alright, so the store I went to, they ain't have what I needed. So I gotta go pick up my mom. Then we gotta go to another store. As you can see, driving by myself today I'm trying to go get last minute last minute on um, Thanksgiving food make sure you wear your seatbelt hope I look good because I just woke up and I don't want to Anything. But yeah, the store I just came from ain't have what I needed, so go pick up my mom, go to another store. Y'all y'all probably ain't hear that but I just yeah. Just went real fast. Real fast. I'm Catch y'all next clip. All right, Chef Queen, let me see what you got going on in here. Okay, what's this? Those are turkey tails. Okay, what are you gonna do with these? Okay, so those are, those are gonna go into the cabbage. And actually, the cabbage are gonna go into those. So I'm gonna take some of this turkey stock off of here. Okay. In a bowl. Where the macaroni at, that's all I really care about. Okay, well, it's, <laughs> it's in the microwave. With the sweet potatoes and the okay. Wait a minute, where the extra cheese at? Okay. Oh, you gonna put it on there at the mm -hmm. end and boil it? I'm gonna put some more on there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's in here? This is 
Oh, Master Choli? Yes, the meat for Master Choli. Yep. That's me personally asked for this. Mm hmm mm hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And so what you gonna do now? You gonna put this in here? Or are you gonna I pour am. that out? I'm gonna pour a little bit of this out as soon as I find the other um, mix because this is actually pretty hot. It is hot in here. You might wanna close this oven. It's probably making some more heat. Okay. All right. Be professional now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's about this, to pour it yeah, out. Yeah, I was about to pour it out. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep this turkey stock just in case I need to add a little bit more back to it. Okay. So we got cabbage, mustard, chili, sweet potatoes, and macaroni. Yes, and I am going to make some, Cornbread? Yes, I am going to yeah. make some dressing and a chicken. Rotisserie chicken. What about so. the cornbread though? Which one is gonna be? You gonna make the cornbread and dressing? We'll make two separate things. One oh. for you. Okay, and then one for the dressing. One for the dressing, yeah. Yeah. See around these parts, I get my own pizza, I get my own cornbread, my own macaroni <laughs> hot pan. It's real great over here. I got this okay, hold on. cut down like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I want it. All nice and meaty. There's a bone in there, but that's okay because it's still going to give it a little flavor. Why it's still pink though? That's, it's smoked turkey. It's already it's supposed, to be, like it's supposed to be like that. Okay, and so you got boiled meat in the, mm -hmm. in the thing. Yeah, it was already cooked. It was fully cooked when I got it. Okay. And so. So, I just wanted it to get real tender so I could separate it. Watch how it's going to look in this cabbage. So, this is, this actually has been requested on a couple different occasions on Thanksgiving. So, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that's all nice and mm -hmm. cut up. When are you going to start your cooking show? Um, you know I'm what? Starting you off right now. I guess I'm gonna start it once I get. All right, let's rehearse. Let's rehearse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome to Queen's Kitchen, and today we're cooking for Turkey Day. Thanks. Yeah, I got the mustard chili in the. That. Okay. What I need help with is to pour the that in there. Pour that in there. This is the front gear. I'm gonna turn this off. Be careful now, Master Chef. When you get to this level, you have cooked several meals. Okay, use your nano power. No, nah, those have not kicked in. But oh, you don't have to. Yeah, you mean the uh And if you ain't got a pot like this in your house, you ain't eating good enough. <laughs> With the burnt bottom and everything. The burnt bottom. I mean this has been around for some time. Mm -hmm. It's that good cooker. In fact I think Nana did give me this. Boom. Alright. All right, so we're back. We back. And what is this? What you, what you so do here? I had to make my own spaghetti sauce. I ran out, as you can see, it's a little light skin. You know, I like mine to look nice and red. What you mean by that? I mean, you know, I want some color on my noodles, so, uh, so I had to make some more spaghetti sauce. Don't mind me, I'm sweating and whatnot. But when you make your own spaghetti sauce. <laughs> You it's actually really good. I taste it. Is you going to put it in there? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the pan. And 
reason I'm doing it in here like this is because I don't have time to be playing around with this small pan. And I'm gonna put it in the oven anyway. You ain't gonna put some cheese in there? I did already put the cheese in there, but as you can see. You gonna put some more cheese in there? Yeah, as you can see. It wasn't, oops, see. This is what happens when you make a little bit too much. Did you see this red sauce? Okay, make the pasta and your sauce don't be there, you know? The invisible sauce. It's like invisible cheese in the mac and cheese. You gotta make it visible. Mm -hmm. Alright, and that's how that's gonna go down, just like that. And that's done. Stir that in there. We're gonna put some more cheese and some. Put some cheese on top and put it in, yeah. in the oven. Bake that down for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe even 40. And just gonna leave it there until the cheese melts. All right. Man. Who else do you like? Nobody. I ain't never heard nobody make their own spaghetti sauce. I had to. Did My dad make his own barbecue sauce in rib turkey, uh, rib, rib rub, whatever it's called. But spaghetti sauce, never done before. Oh, you want to take a look at these? Um, oh, this cabbage. This cabbage. That's how that came together. I know you don't really like cabbage, but you should go ahead and grab the pork and just try it. Now we got the sweet potatoes and the macaroni with all that cheese on there. Let me go ahead and try these sweet potatoes. I want this one right here. Whoa! <laughs> Tasty. But it's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's hot, but it's delicious. Cool, cool, cool. It's hot, yeah, but it just it's came delicious. out the oven, 400 degrees. Are you going <laughs> to let me do it? 400 but degrees. Yeah. Cool about this macaroni, though. Go ahead and get on in there. It's delicious. All right. All right. That means I made my cheese right. Boom. Woo. You keep one. You keep oh. throwing these forks away. You are gonna be buying another pack of forks. It's all right. We got those in my job. With thirty percent off discount. Well, that was delicious. Where can I get some? To taste everything. I mean, I yeah, wondering. go ahead. I mean, we ain't on time, no way. You get that um, master choli. Might as well make some cornbread. Yeah, might as well do that. Do, do the cornbread. <laughs> 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 might as well. <laughs> okay. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your three packs of Kool-Aid, like like so, line them up. You know what I'm saying? Grab them right here. Oh, you gotta get it three three good times, you like. Smack it. Alright. You're gonna rip it like this. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them like this. 
and you're gonna hit that joint like this. And you scrape. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sugar and don't don't um worry about how much sugar i put in here because it's how how i do it from the thing. sugar like so make sure you don't move it and you pour Ah, uh, this should be decent. Nah, we ain't gonna use that. Ah! I forgot my mom just washed this. All right, so. I'm gonna take your little slime green fucking tray spoon. I'm gonna mix that joint like this. Make sure you get all the sugar mixed up in that joint, like so. And when you get it all in there, like how you want it, you're gonna slap that joint in the refrigerator and you got you some ITZ Kool Aid. Usually, I'll be coming up with the exotic flavors like. Watermelon lemonade, grape lemonade, you know, all the good stuff. This time I only had strawberry lemonade and strawberry, so that's what y'all seen. But normally I got all the Kool-Aid, but we ain't got none because I be making Kool-Aid all the time. And I take me a cup of Kool-Aid, I mean a thing of Kool-Aid to school all the time. But yeah, and it take you a minute and 40 seconds to make that ITZ Kool-Aid. I'm capping. It's like five minutes, but still, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. Subscribe, like, comment, share your friend. All right, so can't have all this good food without no Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show y'all how, how to make the ITZ, you know what I'm saying, Kool-Aid. Hold on, I need some space. Matter of fact, I'm just picking out some Kool-Aid. So we got it. Strawberry, 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 strawberry lemonade. We're gonna use that. This is watermelon. Strawberry again. Strawberry. I use all the other ones. Hold up. Alright, well, we're gonna use strawberry. We're gonna use, we need three packs of Kool Aid. Hold on. Let me set y'all up real quick. And this is my plate for the night. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like all that other Thanksgiving food. I really just like what I like. So I got some. All oh, missing the cornbread. She's still making it. But I'm going to get some. But you know what I'm saying? This is what we got here. We got the macaroni and cheese with the masticcioli with some Parmesan cheese on there. With some sweet potatoes. Cornbread coming. And yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Share your friend.